Hello and welcome to this section. Super excited to have you back here on board. Today we're talking about the S3 service in AWS. S3 stands for Simple Storage Service and it is one of the oldest services in AWS. In fact, it was the first generally available service launched by AWS and it was launched back in 2006. Just think about it, 2006, there was no Uber, uh, there was no food delivery to your door using your mobile phone. There was like, there was a completely different world. The iPhone just came out. Um, I don't think the iPad was out there yet. Completely different world, completely different requirements. And since then, uh, the world of the internet data has exploded. S3 is keeping up and is actually leading one of the leading services for hosting your objects and files so let's have a look in more detail um, so we have objects and we need to i specifically put in put files here and cross it out because we need to get used to the term objects because that's what use is used in uh, amazon object or in aws for s3 um, an important consideration is that s3 is not a file service s3 is an object uh, storage service it provides object storage through a web interface so objects are stored in buckets there's an example of a bucket and uh, it looks a lot like a file system but it's not so here for instance is uh, a square file uh, here's a circle file here's a triangle file and you can store pretty much anything from uh, these could be images audio video big data archives static websites backups and much much more so um, in terms of terminology, uh, we here have the bucket name. That's where the object is stored. Here we have the object key. That's everything after the bucket name. Um, and as part of the object key, we have the prefix and the object name. So the important thing to see here is that even though it looks like a file system with folders and in your uh, management console, it will actually be represented as a file system. So you can go into folders, go out of folders. In, a, in reality, it's a it's a storage that doesn't have any hierarchy. It's a completely flat. You've got all these objects stored inside the bucket. They're identified by the object keys. Uh, but for our convenience, so that's object key, but for our convenience, this uh, prefix, which is, is allowed to look like a file system, like a folder system, and it will dis be displayed in such a way, uh, and we'll see this name. So that's just for our human convenience. But in reality, all of the... Uh, objects are stored without any hierarchy just inside the bucket using this object key. Something to keep in mind and something that's important. It's unlikely that this will come up in the exam. It's a bit of a more of advanced concept, but still uh, keep that in mind. And um, things that are important for the exam is that it is an object storage and it's not a file system. Now, uh, which companies use uh, S3? Lots of companies out there use S3. Pinterest, uh, they store almost an exabyte of data on uh, S3. NASA, just imagine all the varying data sets that NASA stores and or needs to store and what, like from research papers to data sets and so on. Coca-Cola stores data on S3 and even Netflix. In fact, Netflix's whole infrastructure, IT infrastructure is on AWS. Um, so they don't have their own servers. And all of those videos and files, everything that we watch on Netflix is actually stored on S3. How cool is that? Now make sure to check out these videos on the right or the full course in the description to continue your learning. And I look forward to seeing you there.